he was a politician, but was taking some time to study. And while we were in Boston, the government was overthrown by a man named Omar al-Bashir. My father's friends started disappearing. Some of them died. A bunch of them fled. We had no place to go. We couldn't go back home. We applied for asylum here in the United States, and we gained asylum. So, which was amazing. You know, the United States gave us a second chance. You know, saved us from a very dangerous situation. And this guy, Omar al-Bashir, who overthrew the government in 1989, was in power for 30 years. He was in power until this past April, when the people of Sudan ousted him out of power. They got what happened. Yeah, all yeah, right. You know, in the meantime, in the 30 years he was in power, he completely depleted the entire country of all of its resources. The economy was terrible. Everything was just fucked up. He just was a terrible, terrible dictator. But he, he was overthrown by the people of Sudan. And since April, there, you know, the people of Sudan have banded together, everyone from all over the country, and they said to the transitional military government that was put into place that we are not going to have another situation like this. We are going to talk together and come up with a way to bring back this country, to yeah. bring back the prosperity, the, the honor, the love, the community that existed in Sudan. And they staged these sit-ins, they would come together, people like all of you in Sudan just sitting down, saying to the government, we're not gonna leave until you guys help us out, until we figure this out together. And that was a beautiful time between April and June. And unfortunately, on June 3rd, a giant, a big massacre happened. The Janjaweed, who or the military force of, that's a part of the transitional military government, they came into these sit-ins and they just massacred and they killed these young people. Now understand, Sudan, 75% of Sudanese population is 25 years old and younger. And 40% of that 25, or of that 75% is 16 years old. So kids were just massacred by these people. So. What is this all to say? What am I trying to say to you? I'm trying to say that if you want more information about this, because it's not a lot of information about this in the news, you can come talk to me. I'll be at the merch booth. A portion of the proceeds from the merchandise that I'm selling tonight is going to go to medical aid and benefit efforts to, yeah. to Sudanese people. Yeah. And if you want to donate, beyond buying a t-shirt or anything, you want to donate, you can go on my web, my uh, Instagram, and I'll, there are a bunch of legitimate uh, organizations that are doing great for this situation. You know, all over the world, by Sudanese people, Woo! right? Um, I can talk to you all day about it over in the merch booth. I can uh, guide you to some information. Please go online, Google Sudan. If you have any Sudanese friends, ask them how they are. A hundred percent of chance that their family is suffering from this. There's an internet blackout. In Sudan, so no one is able to connect with their family unless they have some weird way of getting on the internet, which is unlikely. I can't talk to my family, and your Sudanese friends most likely can't talk to theirs either. So give them a hug, support them. That's what we're all about. That's what America's all about. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank you guys. This next song is for Sudanese.